How will you feel if you realize that Bill Gates no longer runs some of his major companies? Strange to hear, right? Well, his actions are still scrutinized and monitored around the world. This has left people wondering what is happening to the economy these days. And it also has created a buzz due to some of the current moves in the stock market. The Microsoft founder predicted that something as worse than or something like the COVID-19 pandemic could happen sooner or later. He's now looking ahead to what the next pandemic might be. Now, the news is that Gates has been selling quite a number of his stocks and having a change of focus regarding his investments. Financial experts are viewing this as a signal of another possible crisis in the market structures. The theory behind this is that if Gates thinks certain sectors are becoming riskier, then there's every possibility that it is true. In this video, we'll look at the reasons Bill Gates decides to sell his stocks, so watch the video to the end because it's going to be interesting. When Bill Gates announced two months ago that he would donate $20 billion to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which was part of a move to step up the giving of the philanthropic group, he specifically didn't say the exact assets he was giving up. Unlike other tech billionaires, we know Bill Gates' worth isn't just on paper, as he can turn his fortune into cash much faster than other billionaires. There have been numerous speculations from most people that they believe that Gates' net worth comes from Microsoft. Microsoft. This is practically not true. Of course, we all know that he made his fortune through Microsoft, but Gates is the kind of man that can quickly diversify his portfolio, which he really did. It may be shocking to you that Microsoft today makes up just a few percent of his entire portfolio. One of his most significant and best positions is in Berkshire Hathaway. He owns at least 54 million shares of the company, which amount to around $11.2 billion. Berkshire Hathaway is a whole company that invests in multiple companies like Apple, IBM, General Motors, Bank of America, and Golden Sachs, just to name a few. Now, Gates also owns 18.6 million shares of Waste Management Incorporated, which amounts to around $2 billion. However, recent reports show that, that Bill Gates sold around $940 million of Canadian National Railway Company shares, trimming one of the largest holdings of the investment firm that controls his $117 billion personal fortune. Not only that, he also sold his entire stake in Grupo Televisia, a Mexican multimedia mass media company. Now, going back to Microsoft for the first time in history of Microsoft, Bill Gates, who is known to be the founder of the world's giant software, no longer appears to be its major shareholder. Bill Gates has sold almost 8 million shares of Microsoft, bringing down his total to roughly 330 million, which puts him behind Microsoft's former CEO, Steve Ballmer, who owns 333 million shares. Gates owned 49% of Microsoft at its IPO in the year 1986, which made him an instant multimillionaire. He handed over the CEO role to Balmer in 2000. Satya Narayana succeeded Balmer in 2014, and he's now the current CEO of the company. However, Bill Gates remains on the board and spends one-third of his time as a technology advisor to new Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella. Ballmer, one of the first hires of Gates, was Microsoft's CEO until earlier this year. It is a passing of the torch for Bill Gates, who has always been the principal owner of the company's stocks. The foundation has spent over $28 billion fighting poverty and hunger since its commencement in 1997. For more than six years now, his major focus has been on philanthropy at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which is primarily funded by his Microsoft fortune. Now that Bill Gates has decided to be selling Selling his stocks, we clearly know the reason is to prepare for one of the worst economic disasters in history. It may be unfair to say this, but we know Gates to be someone who doesn't only work based on current events, but also what the future has to say regarding economics and all. Truly, Gates is widely known for being a CEO, and he's even much better at capital growth. Gates even managed to make $50 billion over the last 20 years through the help of his fund manager, Michael Larson. Both of them made billions during the bull run. These factors have indeed helped him consistently beat the S&P 500 and grow his wealth to new heights. This is why Gates and Larson are now preparing for what might become one of the worst downtimes of all time. It's going to come as a shocker to everyone. We are aware that the current
current economy isn't in any favorable position. Even the United States is currently experiencing accelerating inflation. We are also in the lowest consumer settlement in history. As if that's not enough, the Russia-Ukraine war is still there, not even talk of the lower consumer savings rates. When this buy recession comes, people will definitely be eating food and going to work. But for Bill Gates, private equity will really be a way to hedge his portfolio further through diversification. A rise in interest rates makes future cash flow less valuable, which lowers the overall value of companies, especially tech companies that are focused on bringing cash in the future. We will have to wait and see how everything unfolds. Well, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, do well to subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.